And there's the takeoff. We are underway with the Anzoil Dominator. Amsoil puts up $10,000 to the winner and they allow the pro light guys to qualify and the pro guys to qualify to run run for 10 grand. No points involved, it's it's just an extra race. So there's 10 pro lights in the front row and then the pros are starting in the back row. Starting from the back row with the pro lights being in front was definitely a disadvantage. You could see the pro lights were winning because of that. So we had to look big picture. You know, it's like for sure we want to win everything, but you know, we're also really close on that championship hunt and that's our big nut that we want to crack, so. You know, start to the back row and this many guys, it's just so hard to, 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 to do so much. You, you try to pass everyone you can and it, you, you get roost all the time. You have to wipe the goggles all the time. It's just, it's hard, but uh, I, I did some passes and, uh, and then when I came down the hill and I was trying to pass uh, another guy and and I smashed into him his sled because I, I tried to break, but it was hard, you know, we were going so fast on the hill. And I was sliding into his sled and I, I fell off and, and then I and then I thought it was a good idea to not run anymore because uh, trying to save some power, it's not worth to, to, to tear yourself up for, for nothing if you're not going to compete for the first, second or third. Jordan LaBelle becomes the second ever pro light racer to win the Amsoil Dominator and $10,000. Ben Watts here with Quime. I'm the product line manager for the snowmobile line at Quime, and we're out here from Idaho uh, getting feedback and talking product. Yeah, that's a lot better. Is that a lot better? Yeah. Does it fix the issue? I mean, my nose is still touching it, but I think that has to do with how tight the lens is. So maybe. So, where is exactly, like, which part is actually touching your nose? Right on the tip right here. You know, one so of our goals at Climb uh, with doing race back and sponsoring these athletes is we want to help these guys uh, get on the podium. We want our products to help them be faster and better on the track. Season is going real well. We had a big win last weekend. We almost had two wins. We had a little mechanical the first night, but we won on Saturday. We're in the points hunt. So we're having a really good season. Um, we got two races left and we're hoping we can secure that championship. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this track. Um, you know, it's nice to be on a ski hill again. Uh, these next two weekends, we're, we're actually, they're both on ski hills. So, you know, it's, it's nice to switch things up a bit, um, not just have the, the flat tracks everywhere. And um, looking forward to, to the rest of the weekend and uh, the rest of the season for sure. And um, I think our sled's gonna be working really well. And just, yeah, we're excited for it. We had our first win in, in over five years since, since Ross Martin retired in Deadwood. It was really emotional for this team and we're really, really, really fired up. It was uh, Moose's first career pro win. So Friday night in Deadwood was very, very special to, to all of us. We had a great night and, and uh, we won a race. It was our uh, fourth podium of the year, so we are we're third in points still, and, and we are having a, a great season. Yeah, we went to Deadwood, and I got my first win, and that was awesome. We had a great weekend there. Uh, then we went to Elk River, uh, Minnesota, and uh, actually had a second on Friday and a fifth on, on Saturday, so that was also a great weekend, and uh, now we're ready to have another good weekend here in Geneva.
trying to lead the charge, but Trent Wimmer up alongside Ischel, trying to muscle his way in there as they come off the cat corner. It's Yurt with the advantage. I started from the back row and did a good first corner up the hill and came out seventh and you did some passes and some guys crashed. But he sketched out, the sled takes a long dart into the middle of the quick trip rhythm section. I end, I was running third for a couple of laps. Never really got comfortable on the track and um, unfortunately in the final something happened to my sled and wasn't able to finish that one. Uh, was kind of pushing for fifth I think at the time and um, then the sled just came to a quit and um, unfortunately couldn't finish. What an incredible turn of events. Right place, right time. Viking Rocket, winner in Blank Geneva. The, the leader crashed and I ended up second and that was just awesome. I just tried to stay smooth. I didn't have the best day today, so. So I'm super glad with this position and I'm, yeah, it was awesome. Well, I gotta say, uh, <laughs> it was a great night. We struggled all day with getting the setups right, getting Moose comfortable on the, on the big hills. He hasn't raced on a, a huge track like this with these huge uphills and downhills one time I think in his whole life he got all the way to second and was closing in on first and it was one of the most exciting races and fun races I actually almost ran across the track and almost got run over because I was so doggone excited after he crossed the finish line but I'll tell you what uh, I, I am stoked this is what it's all about this is why I do this All the heats and we're struggling in them and uh, you know the snow just doesn't seem to be matching our setups and, uh, and a couple of you know corners that kind of caught us a little bit and just we're struggling. Hunter smoked everybody on the start and leading the race. Uh, got passed by one guy about six, seven laps into him. And Ischel takes the lead from Patino. Hanging right with them and came down that downhill and swapped and flew off the sled, broke the front end. So oh, Patino down! Just like that, Patino's sled got sideways. He clipped one of the bumps on the Polaris downhill. The sled slides down to him. Yeah, I just made a mistake coming down the hill and uh, ended my 
day, end of my weekend. Win number eight of the season for the Viking Rocket. It was cool to see that we rallied from everything that happened over the weekend, overcame adversity, came out strong, and just him putting his heart into it and going out and trying to win. And had that happen, you gotta hang your hat on that. And you know what? We lost a bunch of points, which sucks, but it's racing, it's not winning. So what do you do? Came away this weekend um, healthy, so that's good, but um, you know, just pissed off at myself and um, frustrated for sure. Um, definitely not how we wanted things to go, and I'm um, just gonna try to try to come back next weekend and do better. Um, you know, that's all we can do. You can't really get much worse than what this weekend was. So hopefully, if we can just do a little bit better than this weekend, uh, we'll take that. I don't want to get my goggles sweaty, so I have to keep some distance between the goggles and my face. And yeah, it was an awesome race, and I was trying to stay smooth the whole race and uh, ended up pretty good. Uh, second is a, a good uh, good position, I think, and uh, I got good points from the whole day. I had good hit races, uh, one second and one first. Uh, so that was that was a perfect day actually for me, and uh, it's it's hard to do anything better, I think. The team is super excited, and uh, and uh, for sure Scott is super happy. Uh, you know he. He has been working so hard those last couple of years to, to find a good rider and make a good team. And uh, yeah, finally we have a super great team and uh, we are having fun every week. And it's, it's what it's all about, I think. I am so proud of this team. I'm so proud of the way Moose is riding. He is such a strong, strong young man. He rides the last lap as hard as the first lap. Man, he's, um, he's one heck of a rider. I mean, there's no give up in that guy. He goes 110% from the drop of the green flag right to the checker. So he's, he's on the gas. I'm just a pleasure to actually work with a rider that's so dedicated and, um, and goes as good as he does on the racetrack. He's just a phenomenal person. He speaks well. He said he just learned English about a year and a half ago, which is hard to believe because he speaks very well. But he's fun to have around. We got, we have some momentum. We have two rounds to go. We're going to Michigan. We are going to be ready to rock, and we are going to walk away on a huge high note for the season. We are pumped up.